Hello, church family. Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to talk to you and let you know uh, what it's going to look like on Sunday mornings going forward here at Greenwood Baptist Church. We are going to continue beginning this week with both of our uh, in-person services at 945 and 11, and our online service will, of course, continue as well. Um, the reason why we went to online only this last week was because we had uh, two orders, one from the the county judge and then one the following day from the governor uh, requiring masks for everyone in the, they stated different criteria um, and we weren't exactly sure how those applied to us whether they did or not um, you know we've discussed it quite a bit we've done research on it you know there's some indication that those one order expires today. The other one may not have applied to us at all. Um, and, and so we're not really sure about it. Um, I'm just going to talk to you and tell you how, you know, what we've kind of come to as far as masks. Um, we're not going to require them. It's up to you to decide whether um, the, the order from the governor is something that you need to live up to. I know there are a lot of... Um, differences of opinion about <laughs> government actions, about the coronavirus in general, about treatments, about how to deal with it, about lockdowns, about masks. Um, there are all kinds of opinions about it. And so I've really struggled over the last few days about, you know, which direction to go, what do we need to do? Um, you know, I do believe as, as believers that we are to respect those who are in authority over us. Um, you know, I know some people believe it's an imposition on their freedoms to be required to wear a mask, and I understand that. Um, and then some people believe that, you know, really wearing a, a, a cloth mask for a brief amounts of time is not really an imposition of keeping you from doing what you want to do. There are people that feel that way. There's everything in between. So um, the place I came to was that we're not about trying to make political statements here. We're, it's not our job to try to figure out um, how everyone should feel about this or feel about that. But this is our job. And it's Colossians chapter 3 and beginning in verse 12. It says, Therefore God's chosen ones, holy and loved, put on heart, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, accepting one another and forgiving one another if anyone has a complaint against another. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive, forgive. Above all, put on love, the perfect bond of unity. You know, our command as a church is to put on love and to be unified. And I've, I'm kind of at a loss about how to do that, to be honest with you, because I know there are people who feel like everybody should wear a mask and that the ones that don't are putting everybody else in jeopardy, and then there are people that feel like a mask doesn't do any good, and they shouldn't be forced to wear one. Why? So I don't know how to make a decision here that's going to make everyone happy. So here's what we're going to do. We would encourage people to, to wear a mask from the time when they get out of their vehicles until they're in the sanctuary. Um, it's pretty clear in the orders that once you're actively participating um, in worship that there, you don't need to wear one or it's not required. Um, at the same time, we're not, gonna, we're not the mask police. We're not going to go around, tell people they do this. Um, we would encourage you to do it, but we also want everyone to make decisions based on what's best for their family and your own particular health situations. One of those options is to stay home and watch it online, and we are going to continue to try to improve our online worship experience as we go. Um, we've already... Um, made plans to, to, to get some new mics that we feel like will come across better um, via television. And uh, we want to continue to make that as good as we possibly can. And if that's the best decision for your family, we completely support that and understand it. Um, if you know, if you, you, you're comfortable coming to church and wearing a mask, we want you to do that. And one of the things we're going to ask is if you don't feel like um, wearing a mask works or that people shouldn't, don't impose that on other people. And if you feel like everybody ought to wear a mask, you don't impose that on other people. Every, anyone that comes here, no matter whether they're wearing one or not, whether they line up with the way you believe about it or not, we're going to treat them with love. We're going to treat them with respect. 
That's what we're called to do as a church. And, you know, I'm, I've decided I'm going to wear a mask when I'm in the common areas and um, in the hallways and in between services um, just out of respect for my family and, and trying to protect them and uh, also for those that, that feel like that that's something that's important. And it's not something maybe I would normally choose to do, but I'm going to do that out of respect for them. And you make your own decisions about what you need to do and about what's best for you. Um, my one suggestion and one request is, is that you you do that with loving other people in mind, not changing their minds about how they feel. And we want church to be a place where people can come, no matter what you think about certain issues, and feel comfortable here and be able to worship. So I'm leaving that up to you. Um, you know what the orders are from the governor. You know what our position on it is. Um, and you do what, what you feel like is the right thing to do. And uh, we're going to trust you to do that. And however it turns out this Sunday, we're going to trust that that's the way you came and that you are doing uh, what you believe is best for you and for other people. So um, if you have any other questions, comments, feel free to uh, let me know and I'll be happy to discuss them with you. That's how we're going to go forward from this point, um, at least uh, while those orders are in effect. And um, if you have any, any other concerns, please let us know. Hope you guys have a great day and hope to see you Sunday.